All right. So what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Chef Junior's TV. Gina Views decided to stick around, and we're going to just do another recipe video. On today's episode of In the Kitchen, we're going to be doing a balsamic honey lamb chop. Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. We're going to do some mashed potatoes, and we're going to use some broccolini. Not that cheap broccoli shit. We're going to use some broccolini. Broccoli. Bro broccolini. 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 Okay. We're going to get fancy with it. Um, so we're going to go uh, and talk to Gina Views some more. We having a good time. So we just gonna cook and continue to make history over here, all right? What's over there? We gonna, we gonna get into that. Okay. So right now, what you got in front of you right now is some lamb chops. Yeah. Um, high quality lamb chops. I'm gonna let you go ahead and cut those up. This Mary had a little lamb. Mary, we gonna cut, we're not gonna cut them up right now, but oh, we gonna okay. cut those up, let me, right? Let me stop jumping the gun. Right, right. I don't know, what y'all call these at home? Red potatoes? Yeah. These are red, red bliss potatoes. Okay, so right? these are yeah. not a Red bliss potatoes. Put the pinky up, red bliss <laughs> potatoes, red all right? Red bliss potatoes. We got some butter. We ain't gonna forget the butter this time. I think don't Gina, forget the butter. I think Gina forgot to. No, that was, what you do with the other butter? I don't know, but okay. we got we got some honey. We got some balsamic vinegar, right? Balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. We got some broccolini. We got some heavy cream over here, the Kroger brand. Oh, I you thought know, that was just milk. No, it's, okay. it's heavy cream. Okay. We got some salt. We got some rosemary. Okay. Rose, I almost forgot for a second. We got some rosemary. Fuck you, Ron. Ron Fuck got us Ron. fucked up right now. Fuck Ron. But we love you, Ron, <laughs> respectfully. But you got us fucked up right now. We got some Chef Junie's all-purpose spice. Yes. All right? And we're going to use this on the lamb chops. And we're just gonna make this shit real flavorful and real good, all right? So we're just gonna jump right into this video. I'm gonna have you cut those up okay. while I cut up the potatoes. So I'm cutting in between the bones. Yes. Is my finger right? Is everything right here? Your nail might be in the way. Okay. So what am I doing? You Tell gonna... me how to hold it properly. All right. You want some gloves? Yes. I'm gonna show you one and you do the rest, okay? All right, so see How the hell you get them gloves on that <laughs> <laughs> You over there struggling, huh? I'm over here with one glove on. How the fuck did you get them gloves on that fast? I'm a you know professional. I'm a saying? professional. The gloves don't fit. You must have quit. Shout okay. out to OJ. Go ahead. Um, so you see these bones, right? They, they, you got to follow the bone line. Okay. All right, you might think it's like this way, but you see the bone going that way. Mm -hmm. What you got to do is take your Chef Junior knife. Mm -hmm. If you ain't got Chef Junior knife, pre-order yours now. You just go straight down like that. Okay. Now we got one lamb chop right there. Right? And you take the other knife or the other bone. And you just go straight through like that. Just straight in between the bones. Right. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and take care this of This is very user friendly. Yeah, user friendly. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna cut up these potatoes. You kind of want your potatoes to be um, the same size. That way all the potatoes cook at the same time. So you're just gonna go down. Cut them in the fours, or maybe even the sixes like that. While she's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the water. And we already salted the water. Uh, potatoes are very bland, so you wanna make sure you salt your water before you uh, put your potatoes in and boil them. So we got four potatoes right here. Gina's doing a good job on those. So we was talking about this off camera, and you said the next to go from LA is Airplane James. Airplay James. And I would bet my best pair of panties on that. <laughs> the ones from Ho Fashion. Yeah. Oh, she also got. You I got, got an Ethica sponsor. You, you got. Oh, you got an Ethica sponsor. Yes, I did. You also got pajamas, right? Yes, I have yeah, onesies. Yeah, onesies. Yeah, available on Ho Fashion. Wholefashion.com. Probably more suitable for the for the uh, winter, not so much the summer. But but if you want a little breeze, you can let the back down. Yes. Yeah. You can pull that ass out. <laughs> and somebody said it's the easy answer. I don't know who said that. Who said that? Somebody. Somebody. So we're gonna let those I think potatoes I cook. Mary uh, Mary's cut up. You got all the Mary little headlamps cut up? Mary had little lamps. Oh, those look beautiful. Those I think I beautiful. did the fuck you, out of that. Yeah, you did I that. I think I did that. You did that. Chef so we, Gina. Chef Gina in the house. Views. Mm -hmm. Chef Gina views in the house. So we're going to put our potatoes in the boiling water. We're going to put our broccoli in the boiling water. We want these to be al dente, which is 
right where you want them. Al dente is a professional word. Okay. Not What's cooked the all the way. word for it? We want them like soft. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know. Niggas got all dente. Al dente. So we're going to let those cook back there and we're going to season this up, all right? So we're going to go ahead and add some Do salt. The salt yeah, salt bay. Not too much salt because we're going to go in there yeah. with the, the Chef Junie seasoning. I like how you threw a little razzle dazzle. You like that? Yes, I like you that. You got to get fancy with it. And you got the Chef Junie, you see all that, all them herbs yeah. in there. This is not, I don't know what you did, but you did that. This is not a weed grinder. Everybody mm -hmm. keeps saying this is a weed grinder. No, it's herbs in there, but yeah. not that type of herbs. And I like that I can smell it from over here. You smell that? <sighs> so we're going to go ahead and yeah. do that like that. <sighs> Boom, not too much. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna get our olive oil. Let's Can go you here. Tell it? I'm sure you probably have already done this, but for the new people, what's in there? What's in there? We got some, a little bit of everything. Uh, we got some thyme, okay. some rosemary, mm -hmm. we got some paprika, mm -hmm. we got some chili powder, mm -hmm. we got some garlic powder, mm -hmm. we got some onion powder, we got some black pepper, mm -hmm. we got some, about four other things in there. Okay. Some basil, sweet basil. Last episode, it was about me, right? Right. But I do interviews. So let's talk about you. Um, let's get this ball. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's get this. We can talk about me. We can get into me a let's little bit. Let's talk about you. So what made you want to create the, the seasoning? Um, because I got tired of going to my pantry and pulling out everything I want to use. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I need a universal thing that I could put on everything. everything. And it still tastes flavorful. So is this kind of like a, um, you know how they say Walmart is a one-stop shop? Right. Is this like a one-stop seasoning? Yes. You just throw this on whatever. You throw this on it's whatever. Fire. You can throw this on a piece of mango. Yeah. And it's going to do what it's it got to do. Yeah. Okay. Salt. I mean, you can throw this on fries. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Mm -hmm. You can throw it on anything and make it taste good. Okay. So go ahead and mix all that up. So I'll just massage it? Yeah, massage it in there. Mix all that up. Is that how you want me to do it? Yeah. Like yep. Move Just on like that. Move one. on to the next one. Okay. Get everything nice and coated. Get down to the bone because some yeah. people like to suck on the bone. Yeah, you get all the way down to the bone. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. It smells good. It smells good. Because I don't like when I go to people's house and I eat their food. And it's not seasoned. Not seasoned. They yeah, need they that need, chef Junior. They need that chef Junior all purpose. See, it's all purpose. See, yes. all purpose spice. And where can they get that at? They can get that at chefjunior.com. No, yes. chefjuniortv.com. Or you can DM me on Instagram, Chef Junior TV. You also get these aprons that you see Gina Views in. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because I drop everything on there first. Like you guys don't know, we pre record all these episodes. So if you're seeing it now, this probably was already released a month ago. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, Chef Junie TV. That way you get the exclusive on everything. Do you do those tutorials? Because I like when people cook and show me what to do step by step. That's what we're doing right now. But do you do them on like reels? On TikTok and reels? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we got Kimmy over there. She handling all that. Okay. Kimmy about, to, Kimmy. Kimmy, Kimmy, Kimmy about to handle all that. Okay. All right. Did I um, do what it needed to be you did done? what yeah you did what you needed to be done all right okay. so we're gonna reset this little station right here and we're gonna cook off these we got the potatoes already cooking we got the broccoli already cooking now we're about to cook off these lamb chops it's gonna come together real quick it's a real it's, it's it seems complicated mm -hmm. but it's a quick and easy recipe okay. right like everything on chef junior tv so we're gonna clear off this station we're gonna bring the stove out here we're gonna show you guys how we're gonna do this all right see y'all in a little bit peace all right so we back, we got our little kitchen set up right here. I don't feel like going all the way over there. We lit right now. We ain't got, we ain't got time to be doing all that. So we over here with it. We got our little camping stove right here. We gonna use some of this extra virgin olive oil. Uh, we gonna put about maybe a tablespoon in there. Get that pan nice and coated. And we want this on a medium high heat. As y'all can see, it's starting to smoke a little bit. That's what we call the smoke point. It's not too hot get that oil and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put our lamb chops in there you hear that sizzle oh. all 
right, we're gonna let those cook for about maybe two minutes on each side. It sounds like Chef Julie's season is cooking. It sounds like Chef Julie's season is cooking? Yeah. We're we doing it right there. Where can we get these lamb chops from? If I'm just wanna go cook for somebody's son. You wanna cook for somebody's son? Yeah, where can I find these at? You can find these at Ralph's, Trader Joe's, okay. Whole Foods. And I can get them already cut up? You can get them already cut up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And all those people I just mentioned, y'all cut the check. Are we taking that part out? Period. Period. <laughs> <laughs> no free mentions. Right. So we're going to let those cook for a couple minutes. What we're doing right now is called caramelization. Okay. Another pro word. We learned that sugars come out of that meat mm -hmm. and caramelize on the bottom. Okay. Right, we got that nice crust. We want that nice crunch to it. Mm -hmm. We're going to add some of the honey. Okay. Bring a little sweetness to the dish. And we're going to add some of that balsamic vinegar, which is also sweet, mm -hmm. but I bring a little tartness to the dish. Okay. So sweet and savory. All right. Um, Lester, could you give me a, a tongue out of there? Not a thong, a tongue. <laughs> yep. Thank you very much. So as you guys can see, we get that nice crust like that on there. Yeah. Yeah. Put these over. Let them cook for another two minutes. So how do we know when to flip? Do we know like based on the timing or based on what the meat looks like? Based on what the meat looks like. Okay. So when the meat looks like that, nice and yeah. crusted like that. When it get brown. When it get brown. Okay. Yeah. In layman's term, when it get brown. Mm-hmm. Cause you know you gotta talk like that for the people sometimes. Right. Cause I'm a nigga. <laughs> sometimes so, I might not know. Right, right, right. Okay. It's looking good. Looking good. It's looking it's real look, good. It's gonna look even better. Mm -hmm. So right now we're gonna use our honey. Okay. We're gonna use about maybe two tablespoons of honey. So that's about six swirls around the six pot. Six swirls around the pot. Okay. And we're gonna use about a quarter cup okay. of that balsamic vinegar. Oh. Right. We're gonna let that cook. Uh huh. And we're gonna let that reduce down to a nice, thick, consistent sauce. Mm -hmm. All right. I know this is serious because it burned my eyelash. Did it? Yeah, I felt a little. Ah. It's still on there. It's still yeah, good. It's, it's still good. good. It's good. It strands my desk. Right, good. right. Okay, so how long does this sit in the vinegar? Uh, maybe about another two or three minutes. Okay. We want that sauce to thicken up a little bit. All right. Okay. We're gonna add some of our rosemary. Okay. To the pot like that. Or are we gonna save a little bit for garnish for later? Now, is the rosemary just pretty, or do it add a little seasoning? Yeah, a little bit of flavor to okay. it. Okay. You know? All right. While this sauce is cooking, it's extracting the flavor from yeah. the rosemary uh -huh. into the sauce. Okay. All right. Remember, we got our potatoes over there cooking. Mm -hmm. We got our broccolini that's almost done. Like I said, this is a quick and easy. Broccolini. Broccolini. Right. <laughs> our Tatiana <laughs> Broccolina. Broccolina. You call it Broccolina. <laughs> Broccolina. I done made the broccoli a ghetto bitch. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> from the east side. Wait, okay, so how long is the, the potato supposed to sit? Um, until they're finished. Okay. Like your mama used to say? Yeah. How long I cook the potatoes until they finish? My business, yeah. huh? I heard that. <laughs> nah, um, <laughs> it depends on the size of your potatoes. It can okay. take 10 minutes, it can take 15 minutes, you know. But essentially, cook the potatoes while this is happening. Right, right. Okay. Um, it's all about multitasking in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You don't want to cook your potatoes and have your potatoes finished and then you cook this, or you want to cook this and then cook the potatoes. Yeah. You want everything to finish at the same time. Gotcha. So okay. everything come off the pot nice and hot mm -hmm. and ready to be served. You gotcha, know? okay. So like I said, we're just gonna cook these for a few minutes. What's happening right now? Cause I'm seeing bubbles and I might get nervous, nervous if, right I'm a, now, if I'm an amateur. Right now, this sauce is reducing. Okay. You see how it was like a more of a uh, water consistency, like not mm -hmm. too thick. We want these to get the sauce to get thick, all right? Gotcha. And um, the pro word for that is kind of funny. Um, we wanted to get nappe. Okay. Oh. A la nap. Okay. You know? So we want that sauce to thicken up. As you can see, see how it's already thickened up? So are we are we are we getting into a gravy? Almost like a gravy. A gravy? Okay. Yeah, almost like a gravy. A gravy would be more like flour and butter and gotcha. but it's a more of a sauce than mm -hmm. a gravy. Constantly it move that stuff good. around. So that's almost finished. Like I said, guys, this is real quick and easy. This is pretty much finished. We're gonna pull this off 
we're gonna plate this up we're gonna get into some more questions um but like i said this is real quick real easy it looks complicated but it's not if you have all your rest all your um not recipes have all your ingredients ready to go it comes together real quick so the main thing is to get your ingredients together and then everything comes together real quick all right because i'm gonna go get the ingredients while this shit on the phone <laughs> you were like, oh, what I need, what I, what I need, let me see what I, what a damn Chef Judy seasoning at. That's me trying to figure it out. Right. So we need the, we need the olive oil. Olive oil. Honey. Honey. Balsamic vinegar. Uh-huh. Rosemary. Rosemary. And I already had it seasoned up, all right? We already got the Chef Judy. I already got Chef Judy season on there. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna turn that off. This is pretty much done. We're gonna put this to the stove and let it sit over there. Oh, this is a quick meal. Quick and easy. Yeah. Quick and easy. I might impress somebody's son with them you, lamb chops. You're gonna impress somebody's son with them lamb chops. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna reset the kitchen again. We're gonna get our plate over here and we're gonna plate this bad boy up. And as you guys know, plating is my favorite part. So we'll see y'all after we reset this area. All right. Peace. All right, so we got our lamb chops done. We got our potatoes over here. We're gonna turn these into mashed potatoes. So this is what we use the butter for. Mm -hmm. We ain't gonna forget the butter. Don't forget the butter. We ain't gonna forget the butter, right? Butter makes everything better, all right? So we got our butter. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of black pepper. Fresh cracked black pepper. Not that pre-cracked shit, all right? So hit that with that. Hit it with a little bit of salt, because remember we salted the water before, so we're gonna hit it with a little bit of salt, all right? And then we're gonna hit it with some of this Heavy cream? Okay. Heavy I was going to say milk. You're going to say milk. Heavy cream. <laughs> All right. And I like to use a whisk okay. to uh, do these potatoes. So you just go Let ahead and... Let do it. Okay. Take your anger out. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. My bad. It's hot. Oh, come I on, I tried King. to set you up. You tried to set me up for failure. Get that butter. Get those... Yeah, there we go. Is it any like specific technique once you use to? Uh, you just mash it up, then you start mixing it up. Okay, let me know, you know when to start mixing. Whenever you feel ready. Okay. Make sure all the potatoes are nice and broken up. So the skin is fine. The skin is fine. Okay. We like the skin. That's where all the nutrients is at. I might not have to get arm day in for this. No, you don't have to get arm day in. My hurting a little bit. Right, I'm gonna let you do this part. You want me to do this part? Yeah, this a little. Uh, I can, I can, I can have some fun. Yeah, my All arm right. is hurting a little bit. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and. Oh, that's what it was. You I did, was holding you, it right. You did a good job. I got the first step. Yeah, there. you got the first step right. Okay. All right. Nice and creamy mm -hmm. mashed potatoes. Look at that. Better. These ain't no box potatoes. These ain't no box potatoes. These ain't no box potatoes. Right. So we're going to taste that. We're going to make sure it tastes good. Always taste as you go. Mm -hmm. Y'all need these bougie-ass utensils. <laughs> I you think... got a sample with his pinky out. Yeah. <laughs> I think those potatoes are perfect. So okay. what we're going to do now, the Versace plate. we're going to get the Versace plate. All right, we're gonna take some of this sauce that we made right here with the lamb chops. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna just take a little bit of this sauce, nice and thick sauce. If I could get some. And we're just gonna make the plate nice and pretty, right? Okay. This plating is actually a technique. It is a technique. One thing about me, I'm not a plater. You're not a plater? Mm -mm. Just make it look pretty. Okay. Get your Picasso on, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna take some of this potato, and you're gonna put it right there in the middle like that, right? Okay. Nice and high. We like to build height. I like how the, how the skin makes the potatoes look thin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are my flowers at? I forgot the flowers. You know I like my flowers. I'm gonna take some of this broccolini. Mm -hmm. and we're just gonna broccolini. Broccolini, yeah. like that. You see how it's like you got yeah. like a a clear pathway. Mm -hmm. 
They're gonna take some of these lamb chops. You're doing chop. what you gotta do. Get some of these lamb chops. I know that tastes good. How many Ooh. you want on here? Give me, give me three. Three. They say three is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There we go. Yeah. So give me three. And this three. is gonna be heavenly in your mouth. Mm-hmm. All right. We're gonna plate that like that. And then we're gonna add our nice pretty flowers. could do Brussels sprouts, mm -hmm. you could do broccoli, okay. you could do asparagus, mm -hmm. you could do um, couscous, mm -hmm. you could do rice, you can do whatever you want to do. I was going to ask if I can do rice if I don't have potatoes. Yeah, you can do rice. Okay. But we're just going to go ahead and get our salt bay on with these microgreens. Add a little razzle dazzle you know? to the plate. Maybe one more. There we go. You want to add some? Go ahead. Go ahead and get your little sprinkle on. Sprinkle on like E40. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have it, everybody? Yes. Chef Juni's balsamic honey glazed lamb chops with creamy mashed potatoes and broccolini. All right. We're going to let Gina Views taste these. But first, we're going to let Lester take these pictures. All right. All right. All right. So there you have it, everybody. Chef Juni's honey balsamic glazed lamb chops with the creamy mashed potatoes and the broccolini. Gina Vue threw her little salt bay on there with the garnish. We're gonna let her taste these out, test this out, taste it. We got the Versace plate with the 24 karat gold fork. Okay. Let's see, let me see, let me see how you like this. What should I taste first? The mashed potatoes. Get a little bit of that, that gravy right there, or that sauce. I'll get a little with the bit mashed potatoes, of yeah. Get a little know? bit of, ooh. Right, right, right. Mashros who? Mashros who? Who the fuck is Mashros? Ruth Chris who? Ooh. Nuvo who? Or Novo mm. who? Yeah. Ooh. Mm. 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 You see how she bit into it nice and tender? Mm -hmm. Wasn't no... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody's son gonna enjoy this, huh? Fuck somebody's son. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> Broccolini. Right, the broccolini. Okay, let's see. Mmm. I don't even want broccoli no more. It can only be broccoli. Broccolini. Broccoli. 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 Yeah. I thought broccoli said something. No, broccoli said something. I can eat shit. the flour, right? You can eat the flour. Okay. Yeah. How the flour tastes? It sounds like it's, it prevents COVID. Yeah, it does. Yeah. You know, COVID prevents flour. Yeah. 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 Yeah.